Hey everybody, Hugh here. Welcome back. Well, today, for this episode, it's all about vine weevil. <laughs> Not that I had planned to do one about vine weevil. Um, and if I get a chance, I'll put a link into one of my previous ones to talk about what I do about, with, about vine weevil here. Um, but this particular episode is as a result of me you know, repotting some of the plants and then identifying one particular plant was like, oh, let me have a close look at that there. Now, these are geraniums that we've had indoors over winter. And I've simply been taking them out of their existing pots, uh, teasing out some of the old compost and then repotting them again. And you can see they're sprouting away. We've moved them out to the glass house today because it's lovely and bright. And tonight they'll go back into the house again. And we're going to do that over the next sort of period until the temperatures here at night go above maybe 5 or 7 degrees. So it means in the glass house that, you know, you're talking about maybe the, the, the soil temperature for the pots will be just nice for the plants. You don't really want it going down below 7 degrees. 10 degrees preferably, but uh, 7 degrees. Of course, we have our soil thermometer for checking. Now in actual fact I use this a lot of the time or just leave it out um, because that's the sensor and it can actually sense just what is the temperature and it's reading 25 degrees but I can check the soil temperature in the pots as well simply by inserting it and uh, as I say it's only for using around plants and soil so don't get any other ideas. On the vine weevil front I have a lovely purple, no, I don't have the picture card there, I have a lovely purple sedum or stone crop sometimes they're called, um, but this is the upright sedum and you can see there's the fresh shoots coming on there, lovely fresh purple shoots, but when I went there was a side shoot there and I was like oh I wonder could that be taken as a cutting and I gave it a little tug and it came away in my hand I was like that's not good, that's not good at all. The soil came off it and it was like, uh oh, you can see there where the vine weevil was actually eating the root itself as well. So I will pot that up as a, as a little plant um, and it may survive. I may just have caught it in time, but you can see the vine weevil were munching. So then I did some further diving and you can see the root is well, well munched. And it's a lovely fleshy root, so you can imagine the vine weevil are so enjoying it. Now I have shaken off all the soil, and uh, I have gone rooting in some of those deep roots just to see if there's any remaining vine weevil. I'm 90% confident that I got them all. There is always that 10% doubt because they can just burrow, burrow right up into roots, but we just have to take a chance on that. So that's going to be potted back. And it was in, like it was a root full of two litre, it was a two litre full pot of roots. So I am going to put it back into uh, a smaller pot here. Um, and let it, let it recover, I'll pot that back in nice and gently. As for the vine weevil themselves, this is the compost. I came off that. That's the two litre compost. And if we root around here, you'll very quickly see the numbers of them. And that's just in one pot. Does the camera pick that up? I hope it does. It does, yeah. Yeah, it does. Oh, just cover them. You can see them there. And they're just... Well, I suppose from, from their point of view they're very happy. They're going, oh, this is great. And they'll just, they'll just munch and munch away uh, all the roots of that. So they're going to be uh, thrown out um, for the birds to enjoy. <laughs> and the compost will be scattered around around the lawn area um so yeah that's just what i'm going to do with that um repot the particular plant 
there is as i say on um, i tend to use more soil based compost i use very little moss peat in my compost mixes now i really do try to avoid it um uh, where at all possible so it's mostly a soil based compost with some homemade compost and a little bit of then that um bought uh, uh, manure as well so that's what that pot will actually be potted up into and then grit over the top particularly for those fleshy rooted plants put um some uh, gravel i should say sorry over the top a layer of gravel because during the summer then it's the females that come along and all vine weevil are females they don't need the males <laughs> but anyway they're going to go along and uh, lay their eggs in and if you have that grit on top they try not to this year i will try some of the um the what you call it the water on solution where they have nematodes in them where you mix the nematodes in them because we have a lot of pots here so we'll try that um, and see does that lessen the numbers i've been lucky over the years that well no i've been unlucky over the years and that i've had some attacks but then i've learned through that using more soil based compost using grit in the tops of pots particularly for anything that's perennial that'll last from year to year as opposed to annuals it doesn't matter so much if they're hit but for perennials to protect those guys and then uh i've been very lucky but if you do buy a plant say so you go to your you go to your shop or your garden shop or your center or your supermarket and you buy a plant chances are it's grown in peat based compost and that's what the vine weevil love so you're automatically at a disadvantage um and sometimes just even with all the best will in the world as some people would know from my hookah discussions earlier on last month and um, they'll still actually get in they'll still just get in anyway from a vine weaver perspective it's good to see them it's good to let you know a little bit about when you do get an attack just wash off either bin the plants completely or wash off all the uh wash off all the what you call it soil and once you get these then you can uh dispose of them however however you, you see fit you can try them i wouldn't really recommend it but what do i know about this or most cases i'll actually just throw them out into the lawn let the birds actually feed on them um because it's unlikely they'll last outside to turn into actual adults i know in the past people say no bin the compost throw it in your ordinary everyday bin here maybe that's the right thing to do i don't know anyway as always comments below uh, we always have great chats there good to see as well the weather here has been just unbelievable it's nearly every second day like we'll get a nice brightish day like this a little bit of wind outside and then it's like storms <laughs> it's just like lashings of rain and wind and whatever which is making the uh, stewardship of younger plants a little bit um a little bit what you call it a little bit tedious uh, peppers by the way that's where they're at in the meantime look after yourselves take care there and uh, catch you soon all the best and of course remember to like and subscribe thanks bye